His writings on a very range of law, topics on constitutional matters found their way into Supreme Court rulings. His court presents and presentation were as first class as the books and writers he went on to author for the better part of his day. His keen eye on constitutional matters left him much sought after as a commentator on jurisprudence, history, and political science. He was truly really one of the best legal brains in India, and the government often took his help in matter of research on international issues. According to Siddharth Vadarajan, with his death, India has lost one of its finest legal scholars, historians, political enemies, and human rights defenders, all Jack in one. He was a walking encyclopedia of India's diplomatic history, the general admission in question, the Indian constitution, and a lot more. His book on Kashmir, India China Relations, Operation Hyderabad, Fundamental Rights, the Babi Masjid, and the Hindu Club have achieved classic status, each and every one of them. He was a relentless seeker of unclassified but hard to find official documents and of great food. Mimalisa's we'll expertise lay in his deep understanding not just of the nuts and bolts of the constitution, governments, elections, commissions of inquiry, parliamentary scope of power and the responsibilities of the judiciary, but also of the most pressing political debates of independent media. The Jimmy was a fine author, journalist, scholar, and historian who spoke truth to power. Although trained in the law, he was a journalist at heart. On the release of Eiji Nurani's monumental work on RSS in Nens, India, on 2nd April 2019, in this very campus of IIC, Janab Hamid and Sai Sahib said, Mr. Nurani is nothing if not prolific. This work on State Nurani goes beyond the superstructure into the origins of the organization and its progress through the history of modern India. It brings on record the views of Dr. Ambedkar and Jawaharlal Nehru about the RSS and its objectives. It is comprehensive and the appendix and the documents there are quite useful. This was Yuvan Sahib's last book. He was working on a book on the Supreme Court's Ayutthaya verdict of November 2019, which is still in process and of which he may not be criticized in a long article in that time. According to Nervo Sirvai, a senior advocate at the Bombay High Court, Mr. Gulang was one of the most fearless and courageous lawyers who thought it was their duty to speak out without fear. He was a man of great intellectual integrity and absolute fearlessness. His articles and books studied the law, politics, and history and were very many contribution to legal and historical academia. Civil society owes him a debt of gratitude. You will start writing on Jawaharlal Nehru's third equation with Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah, planned the official documents and obscure letters eventually resulting in the seminar of 2013 book, Kachadar Sivasaj. The Kashmir dispute, Article 370, the Constitutional History of General Kashmir and Indo China bound in power. However, in an article published in 1919, in the Economic and Political Weekly, he wrote about the Nehru Abdullah Rift, which marked a turning point in the history of Kashmir and Jet, whose background was little known and even less understood. His article offered a robust defense of Abdullah's position in Kashmir. Being a great foodie, the famous Kashmiri was one cuisine also played its role in keeping him tied to Kashmir. Besides his close connection with Abdullah and his left hand was after day, Abdullah recognized Nurani's penchant for food, used to send parcels of Kashmiri delicacies to the lawyer's home in Mumbai, and even arranged special deliveries by air. These gestures were more than just tokens of friendship, they symbolized a deep lasting one that transcended political and geographical boundaries. According to his famous favorite journalist, Sayyid Sakar Birani, Nurani's influence on the Kashmir issue was not limited to the court room. 
कि मेरे फ्यूचर रोल में जाके मैं कश्मीर पर होगा और इस तरह प्रपोज बाय पाकिस्तान प्रेसिडेंट पर ये खुशा कर व्हिच अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम वाज ओरिजिनली अ इंडियन प्रपोज द फॉर्मूला व्हिच इन दिस एज ए पीसफुल पोजीशन टू द कश्मीर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विदाउट चेंजिंग द टेरिटोरियल बाउंड्रीज वाज अ मेजर डिप्लोमेटिक initiative it came to address the concern of both india and pakistan while prioritizing the aspiration of the kashmir nuradi's involvement in the drafting and negotiation of this plan emphasized his diplomatic acumen and deep understanding of the geopolitical complexities of kashmir his role in the peace process was facilitated by his ability to raise the political leaders on both sides of the border His interview with President Musharraf for Frontline Magazine, arranged by Pakistani High Commissioner in India, Aziz Ahmed Khan, was proof that he is a trusted and respected figure in the region. Nuradi's influence extended far beyond the political and diplomatic circle. From his career, Nuradi also remained a staunch defender of civil liberties and human rights. His sharp criticism of government policies, communism. And the erosion of democratic values made him respected is sometimes controversial. His commentaries on legal and political issues were not limited to academic circles, but resonated with the public, influencing public opinion and sparking debates. You guys have often travelled to Delhi for work, seminars, and meetings, and always stay at the India International Centre's room number thirty-eight. Which overlooks the Lodi Garden and his preferred place to stay each time he visited. It was a condition that I will stay on the same number of times. Now, as a adalat ka kam, Nagarjun ko karte the, kitabe aur article bhi unhone Nagarjun mein likhe. Lekin jab apne doston se baat karte the, to zara tak achhi Hindustani mein hi hoti thi. Jisse milte, dil khol kar milte, jisse naraz hote, puri shiddat ke saath naraz hote. माफी का कोई खाना उनके हाथ में नहीं था मुझे भी एक बार उनके अजाब का शिकार होना पड़ा आगरा समिट हुई टू थाउजेंड वन में कबीर मुशर्रफ साहब वाजपेयी साहब वहाँ थे उनके आगे कैबिनेट थी और मैं उस डी के लिए वो समिट रिपोर्ट कर रहा था जिसमें उस ड्राफ्ट का जिक्र हो रहा था जिसका अभी मैंने जिक्र किया और जिसकी ड्राफ्टिंग मैं नुरानी साहब का कर रहा था और जिस पर दस्तक नहीं हो पाए और अगर हो गए होते तो शायद एक नई तारीख हो गई थी मैं वापस दिल्ली लौट करके आया तो नुरानी साहब ने पूछा कि वो आपने जिस ड्राफ्ट का जिक्र अपनी रिपोर्टों में किया है वो ड्राफ्ट की कॉपी मुझे मिल सकती है मैंने कहा नुरानी साहब मैंने वो ड्राफ्ट अपने पाकिस्तानी कॉलिग्स के हाथ देखा तो था लेकिन मेरे पास उसकी कॉपी नहीं उन्हें यकीन नहीं हुआ उन्हें लगा मैं शायद झूठ बोल रहा हूँ और वो डॉक्यूमेंट उन्हें नहीं देना चाह नुरानी साहब खफा हो गए दो साल तक बात नहीं की लेकिन उस डॉक्यूमेंट को हासिल करने के लिए यहाँ में उनकी जिद्दत का अंदाजा आपसे लगा सकते हैं कि वो पाकिस्तान में है उन्होंने न सिर्फ पंद्रह मुशरफ साहब का इंटरव्यू किया उस डॉक्यूमेंट को भी लेकर के आए और फ्रंट लाइन मैगजीन ने उस डॉक्यूमेंट को छापा पब्लिश किया ये सही साहब नुराज साहब हो और खाने की बात ना हो ये हो ही नहीं सकता ही वॉज ए ग्रेट कॉमर्शियल और मुगल फूड नॉन वेज फूड He proudly claimed himself anti-Raj. Serious Muslim के दौरान अचानक वो कुछ बैठ से तो बार बार ऐसा आपने राजस्थान का लाल मास्क है दिल्ली में सबसे अच्छी नहाने कहाँ मिलती है सुना है कहीं वो जवार का बयार पहले जैसा नहीं था 23 नवंबर 2018 को वो बार मास्क वाले इंजीनियर मेमोरियल लेक्चर देने दिल्ली का शिकार है आने से पहले मुंबई से फो तो फिर सुबह को सात बजे आई एस सी आ जाएगी मैं आई एस सी पहुंचा उन्हें लेकर जामा मस्जिद गया 